All right, welcome everyone to this little tutorial on how to install CP2K for your laptop on Ubuntu 16.04. And uh, yeah, this is an older version of CP2K, which does not include time dependent density functional theory, but your laptop isn't gonna be able to handle big systems of those anyway, so that's fine. And you could just play around with CP2K on your laptop. Um, and for this, we're going to use the Synaptic Package Manager, and we're going to execute the following command: uh, Synaptic. And yeah, this um, this should like run a whole bunch of things for you. I already had it installed, but uh, you might need more packages. So yeah, once that's done, you're going to open up Synaptic and fill in your password okay then we're gonna go to the search option find cp2k uh, we find two packages when we select the first one the second one is automatically included so yeah you see both are uh, to be installed and we click apply and we see cp2k and cp2k data and you might see some more packages because it's the first time you're using Synaptic, but that's fine. Uh, just apply and wait for it to install. It's pretty fast, I think. Um, but in order to see if CP2K has been installed successfully, exit Synaptic. Uh, we're going to type cp2k.popt. Uh, which tells us this. Uh, this means that uh, it was successful, that we successfully installed CP2K. So that's nice. That was really easy. And now, uh, yeah, you need some input files to run a simulation. And here I just found bulk silicon somewhere online, I think. And uh, there's only three files. I think uh, it's just uh, to show you how CP2K is run. Uh, I had some troubles earlier, but uh, just find the right example that works uh, because some do not. Um, okay, but what we're going to do is type cp2k.popt and popt means parallel version of cp2k. You also have serial optimized, but we're going to use the, parallel opt the parallelly optimized cp2k. And first we have to navigate to the folder. Um, like this. Now we're in the folder. We're gonna run cp2k.popt and we're gonna write to cp2k.out and just run that. And it's calculating. I hope. If this takes more than a couple of minutes, then. Uh, Okay, yeah, I think it's almost done. Okay, it's done. Yeah, that was uh, pretty quick for box silicon. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the output file. And here we can see, yeah, some interesting outputs like, uh, I think this might be the unit cell energy. And uh, yeah, we obviously have the wave function. We can give other options, but yeah, that those are the basics. So. Yeah, I hope everything is working fine for you, and if you're having trouble, just comment under the video. I'll uh, leave my Discord or something, and uh, I can try to help you out. Alright, 